Then she emerged in the early hours with her lawyer. And he was pointing out that she was still officially a witness. But at this time, Kate McCann knew that detectives were saying that she was responsible for the death of her own daughter. We managed to, yeah, you know, so easy to blame each other when a cataclysm befalls a family. Mm -hmm. That's such an easy trap to fall into. Yeah. I don't think there's ever been any blame, fortunately. To prove that there is no basis to Gonzalo Amaral's theories, that there is no evidence that Madeline has come to any harm, there is no evidence that myself and Jerry are involved in her disappearance, that there's a really good chance that Madeline's still alive. I believe that the results of this trial, I believe will get, get justice. The day that you yourselves were named as being suspect, tell me about that day. I think Jerry was scared because he knew that we were in a system that we didn't know and and I think I just lost it actually. I was I was upset but I was angry and I was I just thought you know. None of the reports produced any evidence that Madeline was still alive. It was every parent's worst nightmare. And obviously it was the worst thing that ever could have happened in my life. Um and the pain and the fear um, are indescribable, really. That you would say, I want, I hope that whoever has her gives her her blanket. I hope that whoever has her is keeping her warm. I hope that whoever has her. I mean, it's funny. It's you know, I mean, as a mum, it's things like that you worry about as well. You know, is someone brushing her teeth. Is someone rubbing her tummy when she's not feeling well? You know, it's it's all those things that as a mother, you know, you do and you should be doing. And. You know.